I don't know what it is today, but um, uh, something or whatever has uh, really drawn me into listen and believe politics today. Don't know what it is. I uh, my day did not actually start out with it, but. It seems to be steered this way more with um, a couple of screenshots uh, posted on Twitter and later on Facebook, on my own personal Facebook, uh, detailing some, detailing the case of, you know, I, I may even put it up here, but it was detailing the case of uh, where a mother and a husband had a son and a stepdaughter. Or something and the stepdaughter was younger than than the son and uh, the son had gone off to an Ivy League school and uh, uh, was reportedly doing well there and while this son was off away at a very prestigious school had a very good life you know going for him you know some things were very promising had a lot of potential uh, the stepdaughter back at home uh, then 16, had uh, made a false rape accusation. And because of the false rape accusation, uh, the dude was pulled from school, I think either put in jail or just something like that. And uh, all of these, all of these bad things happened to this dude for like, no, no actual substantiated stuff. And then, apparently, as time wore on, uh, this stepdaughter admitted that she had made these claims falsely. And what happened after that was apparently uh, the, the daughter was disowned, cut out of their will, sent somewhere else to live. But the damage had already been done. The dude apparently can't go back to that school without going through the admission process again, which I'm unfamiliar with, but it sounds like that's, um, that's probably going to be too hard to do. The, uh, the dude is, of course, you know, his life is being wrecked, so he's, he has either depression or something, you know, a lot of compound things that, of course, require medication and apparently the woman you know you know the, the mother she uh, broke down and cried when uh, she went to go get the medication for him this dude apparently lives just secluded in his room doesn't do anything has no interest in anything cannot actually be brought to look or speak to his mother you know this guy had a lot of very promising things, and then he's reduced to that. And this woman is, I think, quite selfishly asking for forgiveness in the matter. She says that she's, you know, acknowledging what she did and her part in it, but that's, of course, I think, not entirely true. But it was, um, kind of exact, but that whole story kind of exacerbated my whole listen and believe kick today, I guess, uh, and, uh, you know, I was, I was gonna go about my day, but as it turns out, the things that I need to be doing today kind of need to be done tomorrow, long ass story, long, long ass story, and so, yeah, and I did say on Twitter that as soon as I'm done with my business of the day or something like that, I, I would be doing such a video if I was still on about it, well, when I posted uh, those images on Facebook, um, a college friend um, and a couple other rando Facebook friends, that, well, actually, one of them is one I've actually met, and etc. Uh, yeah, they started arguing with each other over this, and I, you know, and I had to step in and say, you know what, here, um, I'll take a cut right here and I'll 
I'll see what I'll see what I can do about posting it. Yeah, I, I don't want to be putting these people's names. I'll take a cut right here. Well, okay, I'm I'm just gonna have to put post some imi um, some images of the post on Facebook here and uh, blackout names and whatnot. Uh, a couple, you know, a couple of a couple of dudes that I know, you know, from outside of college that you know. This kind of thing wrecks lives. We need to punish. Blah blah blah. I come in and say, you know, because I, I'm really just trying to stay rational at this kind of thing because you know that that kind of thing. Rational thinking is definitely what can prevent and hopefully undo this kind of situation. I say, well, you know, I agree. This is uh, only a reactionary response done after the damage has already been done. Uh, we need to not do listen and believe, etc. And uh, my old college friend, you know, he's a classmate um, from um, when I was learning all about networking and whatnot. Uh, he says, actually, the kids' idiot parents and stepsister ruined the kid's life. Not sure what social justice has to do with any of this. Well, Tim and, uh, well... Tim and Greg, they, um, they, they, they start arguing about this before, while I'm typing this big, long response. And, uh, <laughs> well, you know, where I'm saying, you know, social justice as it is actually applied, you know, rather than what people think it is, is very much at fault. And, you know, I say, you know, these are the lessons that we've learned from history about the concept we now we that we now refer to as listen and believe. You know, the events happened in you know that happened in the cru in the crucible. You know, the Salem witch trials were very much listen and believe. You know, the House on American uh, Committee or whatever it was called. You know, the Red Scare uh, during the fifties and sixties. I think it was. You know, had very much you know, listen and believe in its own day. There are a lot, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, social justice pretty much ignores history. You know, there's a lot of social politics in it, but there's very little justice. The, you know, there are a lot of social things in it, but uh, there's definitely a lot of rule, ruined lives. Social justice is actually as it is here in 2016 would have been with the stepdaughter all the way through and even after she had admitted her crime, and I'm referencing it as a crime because false rec false rape accusations, especially done to the point that were done and depicted in the story, uh, are definitely a crime. That 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 is that that should go without saying. Some are trying to say that it's not, but whatever. And then, of course, after I put in that response, the Tim and Greg keep going. While this specific situation involves his family, uh, both are both are large part of the blame. There are hundreds of examples of it destroyed. Blah blah blah. Where listen and belief policies were applied, and uh, and uh, of course the response to that was, I'm sure ex examples of both things going on. Blah blah blah. You're you're ignoring it. You're asking me to ignore uh, an entire ide ideology centered around the idea of victims' rights, which uh, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, when your own example is real culprit's family, well, no. And I, as I say later in there, uh, this did not happen in a vacuum. And the victim's family is not entirely at fault here. Yes, they do have some blame. They definitely do have some blame, but you can't actually say that so, uh, social justice and social justice warrior did not have did, did not have a part here because of um, how the narrative is in society now that victim ri victims rights equals listen and believe, and listen and believe equals that um, a victim, as they tell you has to be automatically right, rather than just simply listening. And this is the difference between listen and listen and believe. You know, 
that's what I say, you know, right after, is uh, we are, by no means are we to not listen but the believe part, especially as it went down in so many false rape, uh, false rape cases, as well as other similar purported crimes. Remember, and that's what I'm trying to point out there, is that listen and believe does not only just apply to false rape cases. There's also some crimes that, you know, happen because of listen and believe. Not just rape cases, but all other societal and, you know, well, other societal problems, and probably some that don't actually fit into societal problems. Listen and believe, especially as espoused by SJWs, you know, you know, it's, you know, is responsible for a lot of harm, you know, in the modern day. And, uh, of course, you know, the, I think the last part of it, I think, is just a rehashing where... So, you know, I, I'm just going to read the response. Greg, social justice, especially in this day and age, has definitely done away with actual cases of actual victims' rights. And you're right, maybe other cases would be of benefit here, but you'd be hard-pressed to tell me that the automatic and irrational belief of the stepdaughter over the son was just done in a vacuum. Listen and believe politics, especially as espoused by SJW factions, definitely had a hand here. Yes, the family has some blame here. The mother in the story at the end ad even admits to some of her guilt. Notice I say some of her guilt, not all of it. <laughs> but, but you'd be dead wrong if the SJW cult would be anywhere near support of the truth in this case. The story definitely does not fit their narrative. And according to SJWs on Twitter, Facebook, and other social media that this Reddit post was first reported, this story has to be false for, simple, for the simple reason that the rape accusations are false. And, you know, and so I had that whole going thing going on today to the point where I was distracted and like, you know what, screw it, I'm doing this video now. I don't have a whole lot else to be doing today other than... Insert excuse here. Uh, that, that, that's what I'm going to say about that. Um, but, that's... Uh, but, you know, so I had this going. And after all that, you know, I am just... I am just so ready to be over this. I, you know, I, I did not want to be having a miserable day over Facebook arguments of listen and believe and what social justice means and, uh, then, you know, this kind of story posting on Twitter and later, you know, you know, because I did later find it in other places, that very same thing. I, um... Why can't we actually just be, you know, humans to each other, though? Listen and believe is very much contrary to the concept of being equitable and fair. And, you know, uh, the and believe part of it, which I, I find it extremely ironic that um, the and believe part is very much espoused by those who would call themselves skeptics. chew on that for a little while. I am gonna upload, uh, edit and upload this video and then have a good rest of my day and I very much hope that the rest of you do the same. You have a good rest of your day, okay?